Hello, Wealthy family. How are you today? So I'm going to be very brief because I am on my phone. I'm waiting for my food. I saw a vegan food truck, so excited for that. Um, But I wanted to share this message because I realized if I didn't do it now, if I got home, it's not going to get done. So I just wanted to briefly touch on the winter solstice and I'm going to do a deeper video into this. Um, but again, I want everyone to know that the information that's out here for us is not meant to dictate our lives. It's not meant to dictate what is going to happen and what's not going to happen. It's meant to give us insight so we can move accordingly. Okay. However, we must be ready to digest the information, okay? If you get a whole bunch of information and you just keep stockpiling it and you don't do anything with it, then you are just becoming a casualty. You're becoming a byproduct, okay? You're not dictating your life. You're just allowing whatever it is to happen to happen. Now, winter solstice, December 21st, the great conjunction, as some may call it, It's when Jupiter and Saturn will be the closest that they have ever been in centuries, okay? And actually in over 800 years, all right? The last time that this conjunction happened, the energy of it, there was a lot of things happening on this planet, okay? And for this year, 2020, the conjunction is opening up gateways or portals it's allowing certain energies to flow that can help us either become more abundant and to ascend in our greatest spiritual powers or it's going to solidify us in that sunken place okay and i don't want to say this to scare anybody again it's just information so that we can digest it accordingly All right. But for those of you who are looking for a boost in your your ascension path, in your spirituality. okay, if you're looking for something to help you get like a a heads up, right, or like a, a jump start, if you ask for these things and then you keep doing things that's not in alignment with what you're asking for, it will not work for you. In essence, it's like you having a toothache and going to the dentist and the dentist is giving you information on how to get rid of that toothache. And then you keep doing the things that cause that toothache. You keep eating the sweets and not brushing your teeth and not flossing. And then you go back to the dentist and you ask, hey, fix it, why aren't you fixing it? And and the dentist is saying, hey, I'm giving you the information. There's only so much I can do. You have to make those changes. Okay, know that as above, so below, yes, but as within, so without. So if you're asking for certain things to happen in your life and you're asking to align yourself with certain gateways and portal and to use energies that's going to help you grow and ascend, and then you turn around and you keep doing boneheaded things and you keep eating trash and you don't meditate and you don't live with gratitude and love and you don't live with the live your life with uh, awareness that we're all connected and all in this together then guess what you're going to keep pushing away the things that you're asking for you're going to keep pushing away those manifestations the energy is going to come and you're going to miss it you're not going to be able to receive the information in a way that you can dictate it or use it to help you grow Okay, so this astrological event, it doesn't mean that just because it's here automatically everyone will get it. You have to be in tune with it. You have to allow yourself to align with it. Okay, and just because the energy is here, that doesn't mean that we need to stop everything and worship it per se. Right. Because you don't want to put yourself in a box, but you do want to use the information to help yourself get better. You want to know how this energy can affect you so that you now can become 
a, a better person so you can solidify how you will be for the next upcoming years. Because whether you're like it or not, whether you're aware of it or not, whether you're consciously doing it or not, you are affected by this energy. So how do you want it to be? How do you want it to affect you? Okay. So winter solstice is great conjunction. If I were you, I would look at my birth chart, first of all, and see how these things will affect you, okay? And then move accordingly. Set intentions, build your vision boards, write letters to your subconscious, forgive all those who are holding you back, work on abundance, work on love, work on yourself. Your shadow work should have been getting gone because now we're in the slingshot of things okay now's not the time for you to start prepping we've already been prepping now it's the time for you to be on your mark okay on your mark get set because we're about to go we're on the get set stage okay be prepared for it because asking to live and work and move in higher awareness is not going to allow you to live the same type of awareness that you have before okay some things have to change some things have to give all right so i wanted to keep it brief and keep it short sorry for the background noise like i'm on the side of the road but it's really been on my heart to talk about this for the past couple days and I just really have not had the time, but I am definitely going to go more into the energies um, about this and just kind of give us all a heads up, but just be prepared. Be prepared for things that are not of the normal to start being pushed as normal, right? Start being prepared for life in a higher realm. Okay, for those of us who are doing the work and for those of us who are not doing the work, well, then you don't have to prepare for anything. You can just continue to allow your life to be dictated by others and allow the energies of others to continue to consume you and allow things to just continually, continuously happen and you just react to it. We here are responding to life because life is responding to you because you are aware we are aware of these things that are happening we are aware of the higher consciousness that we have within us and that we so rightly can develop and winter solstice is really going to be providing a time where we can develop our higher consciousness okay so that is all that I have for you today, wealthy family. I really hope that you are out here being happy, that you're not living in fear because fear is lower level resonating and it's going to keep you stuck in this paradigm and it's time for us to shift. My food is here. Enjoy your day. Bye.